Hey guys, just doing a quick video about the Behringer C1U microphone. Uh, it's a USB microphone. Uh, unfortunately, it's plagued by a very um, large low noise issue. If you search on the internet, you'll often find lots of people asking why is the low, why is the noise so low, and there literally is no answer. You know, I have done a lot of searching, and the best I have found and. I'll try not to be too sarcastic, but the best I have found are YouTube videos of people showing people how to turn up the volume in their volume mixer. And like, I don't even think that's worth making a video about. That's ridiculous. Obviously they should have it on a hundred percent. You know, you can usually assume that anyway. I um, decided to have a look inside the microphone and I, I actually did fix the problem, I'll show you what I did. So if you look on the back of the microphone, it has two small notches here and here. If you actually get a pair of pliers, put them inside the notches, like so. and then twist like this and just keep turning the microphone and then twist, twist. once you get it to a certain amount you can twist off with your fingers I've already loosened this obviously but that's how you take that off then once you've done that you can open up the inner casing by pulling this across and one thing, the first thing to notice and the first myth to eradicate is the whole blue light phantom power myth surrounding this microphone if you'll notice here, the plastic on the outside casing is blue. And then if you have a look at the actual LED, it is green. As far as I'm concerned, I think this is the type of LED that can only output green. And that's, that's going to be a green light going through a blue filter. But it generally just makes it look like a darkish tinted green. Uh, when it's turned on and it'll only ever be that color no matter what type of power it's getting it cannot do a blue um, from what I can tell anyway so that myth is gone this is what I noticed when I opened it up um, there was a lot of corrosion on the PCB so on the main connectors over here there was a lot of corrosion what corrosion looks like is white oxidization like a, a white um, sort of covering over the PCB and the connectors. Um, to fix that you need to get something called isopro alcohol. I'll just grab a bottle to show you. This is isopro alcohol. I'm sure there are a lot of other brands out there. This is 99.8% pure isopro alcohol. And it, all you do is just spray it onto the PCB and then get a, a Q-tip or a um, cotton bud like this and then just proceed to wipe the oxidation away off the PCB okay I've already done the fix so I won't be doing any um, soldering in this video but I'll just point out what I did so I wiped off all the oxidization off all of the connectors and all of the components around the PCB and also on the rear side there was a lot on, on here as well and on the main inlet over here from the USB USB to the PCB um, okay and then another thing that I noticed on the PCB um, if you look closely if you see the resistors here there wasn't a lot of solder on the main connectors on the resistor this is from what I can tell is a type of a uh, a dual um, layered PCB and there were contact points um, solder points on the top as well as the bottom and from what I could tell a few of them it was inconsistent they might have had like some solder on the back not enough on the left some on the top some not on the right you know so basically I just made it more consistent and I added solder to the top pads of each resistor and then I uh, made sure that the solder on the back of each resistor and component was good as well. Um, so that's another important thing I did. Then I re-soldered, re the solder on the main USB uh, PCB here. So this is where the actual USB connection from your PC connects to the PCB through here. 
and I just reflowed the solder around here and on the uh, corresponding side there and that is literally all I did um, besides just putting some isopro alcohol into the connector here as well just just for the hell of it but I think just um, getting rid of the oxidization and then adding some um, solder to the components on the um, PCB um, just helped it out a lot basically um, maybe some of those resistors weren't correctly um, uh, connected and by doing that helped. Uh, also I noticed that uh, here these are the main cables coming from the microphone going to the PCB um, the left one is connected to uh, two devices, a, a, a capacitor and um, I think a, a transistor as well as a capacitor so it's connected like this and the actual wire was going like all the way quite quite high like a centimeter above there so I just chopped that off um, because it, you know it's just excess wire and I don't know if that made a difference I don't know I'm just telling you what I did and that is it put it back together and um, and that's that um, once I plugged it back into the computer I noticed it was twice as loud so whatever I did fixed it uh, and if you're any good with the soldering iron it's quite easy to do uh, another thing to note is that um, the actual microphone itself is on the same side as the LED so the actual front side of the microphone is on this side the same side as the LED and not on the rear side and I don't think it matters too much which way around you actually speak into it but I mean that is the front side from what I can tell uh, so that might help as well but anyway by doing that it should should fix it for you uh, let me know if it helps anybody else and that it's not just a placebo but I tell you, it was twice as loud after I did those things. Alright, thanks. See ya.